We have come a long way. We have come a long way from my grandmother who was married at the age of 13 in Baghdad, Iraq, uh, to a man who's about 20 years older than her and lived in a life of subservience, although in a well-off family, but a life of subservience. She did not uh, finish her school. She did not earn her own income. She did make sure that her, all her daughters finished college and were independent, strong women, and that one of them was my mother, a working, college-educated woman who worked her whole life, yet still struggled to reconcile between the issue of her being working, educated mother and being a mother and a wife in a society that was still trying to reconcile the two meanings for women. Upon her divorce, um, the, the struggle became even further. A divorced, independent, strong woman existing in a society that has contradictory messages to her. To myself, um, a woman who, because of my grandmothers and my mother, I was able to finish not only my undergrad, but finish my master's, author two books, start Women for Women International, um, and reach my, definitely my economic independence at least. And the fact that whether I am married or divorced, or married or divorced, is totally irrelevant to my identity. That, was, that is my story in, in Iraq, as an Iraqi woman. Um, but I think that's uh, many women's stories, and we have each different stories. But women at large have come a long way uh, in the last hundred years, from not having a voting right, to voting and running for presidential elections, to not being able to own credit cards, to having sometimes, uh, too many credit cards. So we have come a long ways from legal, social, economic, and political perspectives. And um, we have a long way to go. Uh, there's a lot to celebrate, and there's a lot more work to do. This 100 year anniversary of International Women's Day mark a specific time, a moment in history in which we need to celebrate the past and honor our mothers and grandmothers and our ancestors who have allowed us to arrive where we are today and respect that and respect their accomplishments and acknowledge that we have a long way to go to arrive and reach full equality and full representation in all decision making and in all resource allocations. It is time for women to be fully equal in all definitions of the world, of the word, um, in this world. There is no way we can continue living in a world. There is no way we can aspire to having a prosperous world, a peaceful world, a sustainable, sustainably, environmentally sustainable world. If we do not, if it does not entail the full inclusion of women in every aspect of it, in every representation for it. This 100th year anniversary, this March 8th of 2011, gives us a moment to pause, to celebrate, to acknowledge, and to decide how to move forward. And it is time for us to act today.